Mm-hmm. Yeah, she knows the names of everything. Hola. I'm going to be making um, orecchetti with broccoli rabe and sausage. I am also turning my leftover side dish from last night into a soup for Mariella. And as just like a side dish, I guess, just because I don't want it to go to waste. And let's transform it into something new. Why not? Um, I guess that's it. I guess that's all I'm cooking. This was like a last minute live. But here I am. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I made fresh stock this morning. I don't know if you watched the video. It's basically just whatever scraps that I save um, and then whatever little chicken I have in there, which is what I did. Um, I just strained it. So I'll show you what that looks like. So this is what the stock looks like, nice and flavorful. I had it on, I put it on at like 7.30. I went to the aquarium like 11.30, so I shut it. Um, and then I just had it sitting like covered on that hot burner the whole time I was gone. Um, smells delicious. So I'm just gonna make a small pot and I'm gonna save the rest of this, whether I freeze it or normally what I do is I save enough to store inside a mason jar and then whatever's left after that, I freeze. To just use in whatever. I, I mean, I use a lot of chicken stock when I, when I cook. Use, you know, you use it to like baste. Okay, so let's just get the soup started first. This literally has onions, garlic, zucchini, beans, fennel. So I'm gonna just put this in the pot, add some stock, and I'm gonna just let that cook for a few minutes. And then, you know, I'll serve it up. Maybe I'll put like a handful of orzo or some pastina, and then I'll serve it up with like some grated cheese. I took my kids to the aquarium today. I was with um, a family friend and, you know, her daughter and her daughter's baby. But me with my two kids, you know? So, I think it's time for mom to have a drink. 
Cheers. Okay, so the vegetables from last night, I got them all. I'm just hanging out. So I just clean my stove. So sometimes, like, it doesn't click on right away. There we go. Um, and I'm going to start cutting up garlic for the broccoli rub. I'm also going to put a pot of water up with, like, some salt. Because I like to poach my broccoli rub for, like, a few seconds before I fry it up with garlic and oil. Uh, I don't always do that, but I feel like if I want it to go a little quicker, that doesn't make it quicker. You need a restaurant called Mary Venus. That's adorable. I love that. <laughs> I love your confidence. Thank you. Because you know what? Actually, I felt like a piece of shit today for some reason. I got to say, I left the house today, right? I actually recorded it. So I'll show you eventually when I get a chance to add it. But I wore... The jeans that I'm in, that I'm obsessed with, like those Judy blue jeans, I, I actually like them. But I wore my Golden Girl shirt, which is cute, you know, but I don't, I, I love it with like a pair of shorts. So I kind of just felt uncomfortable in like the outfit that I wore out today. And then I came home and I put this on and I'm like, every time I'm with my kids, like I try to dress like a nun, okay? Like I always feel like you have to look a certain way because I'm with children, you know? So I'm trying to get myself to get out of that, like... I always, I feel like personally present myself in a way where it doesn't really matter if I'm with kids or not. So, you know, everyone got little habits they're breaking out of, you know? I'm, I'm definitely not perfect. I never want anybody to think that. I came home and I said to my husband, I'm like, why do I feel more confident in this than I do like 100% covered? I don't know why, I, I can't explain it. Or kati with broccoli robin sausage. I'm also making a soup with my leftover vegetables. I do not have a P.O. box anymore because I had a P.O. box for a very short time. But because people in the world like don't know how to be normal, um, I had to actually cancel it because people were like writing weird shit like, did you do this? Why are you not wearing that? Why are you not doing this? Like, and I am not will not have anybody tell me what I can and can't wear. So I'm sorry to anybody else that like genuinely wanted to send me something because, you know, they thought of me or just whatever the case is. But the human race sucks. So I wish I could help you there, but I can't. It was just getting like to a point where I'm like, all right, absolutely not. Keep your free shit. I don't, I don't even, I'm, I don't want to keep your free shit. Because people hit me up and was like, I got something, it was sent back to me, you know what I mean? And I, I don't really, I don't mean to come off in like a way where like, I'm like ungrateful, but if someone's trying to make me feel a certain way because they went out of their way to send it to me, I mean, I just, you know, it is what it is. This is Grey Goose with salsa. And I, I'm like, I, you don't need to apologize to me. I feel bad to, you know, you guys, like I'm saying sorry to you guys because there's people hitting me up. I sent you something, it's getting returned. And then it's like, I don't feel comfortable obviously giving out my home address. So I don't know what to say to these people. You know what I mean? And that makes me feel bad. Like I don't even want to be put in that position, period. So um, I just, I just cancel it. So in here, I have the vegetables that I made yesterday. So I'm just going to pour some stock on it. I'm making it like, just like a small pot. This is kind of like, I don't want to call it a pasta vazul because people are going to lose their shit because it's probably not a traditional one. Obviously it has fennel, it has zucchini, but it's like following the suit of that. You know what I mean? Like a soupy bean mixture. You know what I'm saying? And this will be healthy and delicious for Mariella to eat. Not only is the stock full of like nutrients because I made it fresh, but I mean, it's all vegetables and beans. I loved using beans as a protein. All right, I'm gonna just put this aside for now. 
I'm gonna put this on the back burner over there. Babe, there's somebody at the door. only a package for me probably <laughs> actually it's probably for my kids what is it all right I'm gonna put this in the back um, and then I'm gonna start frying up some garlic so I don't if, if you guys can tell from my cooking I really don't make like a ton of food oh you can show that I always talk about that it doesn't matter this is uh, Suja. I, I, I like talk about this juice company all the time. This is not sponsored. They do not pay me. I think they keep sending me juice because I'm always talking about them. But me and my husband genuinely enjoy them. Babe, see if there's any of the coffee shops in there because those are really my favorite. But every time they send me a box, they're getting bigger and bigger. So thank you, Suja. Seriously. They send me these, co these little coffee shots. And it's like it's supposed to be like a cleaner form of energy. Um, and I genuinely like them. Like, they, they give me energy for hours. I'm not kidding with you. It's 4.30. Maybe I shouldn't have one now. <laughs> um, okay, so I have my water on. My soup's just chilling. I'm going to put some salt in that water. I'm sure I put that here because this is the higher one. So in the meantime, I'm gonna chop up my garlic. Let me actually chop up. I like to chop my broccoli rob a little bit. So I've had it both ways. My mother makes it where she doesn't chop it. I like to chop up my broccoli rob a little bit. I feel like especially with the orakatsi, it's like easy to eat. What did they send me? Back to school. That's nice. Alright, leave that because I'll, I'll I'll do a nice video for that, babe. They sent me like a, a I must be like a back to school thing they're doing. Again, not sponsored. I'm not getting paid for that, just so you know. What? They're the best. Oh, I'm gonna use that. What am I doing? All right, I'm a little scatterbrain. It's a little... Thank you for that. That's so pretty. Uh, this is like a last minute um, live. Usually I got like plan. I prep, you know. This is broccoli rob or rapini, they call it. Thank you for the roses. Thank you for the hearts and the crown. Thank you. I'm going to just cut this up a little bit. Just because I, you know, the stems could be woody. Uh, and they do take longer than the leaves, so I feel like if you cut them, it always just like ensures it'll be all be cooked properly. Not small, you know, you don't want it chopped. Just a little bit. And this will be put in the water to just parboil. You know, it's probably not the right word. I can't think of what I'm trying to say. Blanch? Blanch. There we go. Blanch. All right. Thanks for following me. Thank you for the hearts. I'm gonna cut up this whole head of garlic. So garlic, I mean, for this broccoli rob dish, I like basically just use garlic and oil and like a splash of chicken stock, but just a lot of oil and garlic. It's like part of the sauce, you know? And then you take the broccoli rob from the water. So whatever residual water is on that creates like a little pan sauce, you'll say. Um, I just need to peel this whole head of garlic, which I would have done on like a planned live, you know? Because you guys know I usually go live on Fridays, but Fridays have been... This Friday was my daughter's birthday. So. We went ham all weekend. Do I come from mom, boss, and so it's ancestors? I do not. I am a regular person. <laughs> Why? Because I sound like I'm Italian? You assume that of me? If you think your fingers smell after garlic, I feel like my body is just like immune to this shit. 
Um, but I know lemon works. I'm not sad. I'm just very tired. <laughs> My daughter is teething. And any parent that is going through a teething stage can definitely relate. And sometimes that can make you sad, for sure. So, maybe you're right. <laughs> maybe you're right, babe. That's why, um, that's because I got out today. That's why I took everybody out today, because... I was like, I think we just need to change the scenery. Uh, I know Ramona. She is friends with people that I am friends with. And Ramona's just a regular person too, guys. She's very nice. I'm so happy that you guys try my recipes and you actually enjoy it. Because I hate when I come across something. Usually I could spy it from a mile away. Like, I know that shit's not good. Don't play me. Don't play a player, Okay. But, like, I can confidently say, I feel like the shit I cook is pretty good. Thank you so much for the roses. I love couscous. That little, like, um, lemony, herby couscous. I make love that. Yes, I get uh, lip injection and I get Botox. I like the Pestoza on Staten Island. I haven't really been to the Pestozas enough on New Jersey to judge them, I should say. The few times I've been, um, like I said, I haven't been there enough. What do you make when you're sick? I mean, honestly, I'm very rarely sick. When my kids are sick, I would make this, some sort of chicken soup, like with homemade stock and a ton of ginger, a ton of garlic. Lehigh Valley, PA. I used to go to a uh, ice cream place over there. Babe, do you remember that? Yeah. What was the name of it? I used to go to a homemade ice cream place in Lehigh, PA, and it was one of the best ice creams I ever had in my life. Tasty Swirl. Not Tasty Swirl. That's in Goolsboro. Oh, I don't, I don't remember that. Remember that was? I think it was before we had kids. We went once. We went once. Yes, we were exploring. I am doing artichoke, so uh, that's going to be for content, though. I'm not going to do that on live. I'm going to be cooking all night today, guys, um, because I this is what happens. Like, I leave the house to give my kids a good day, you know, but then I still have so much stuff I need to do when I get home, which is okay. You know, it's all about balance, so it is what it is. But for my artichokes, I par-cooked them, so I did my boiling yesterday in, like, my flavorful stock, and then today I will stock them, and I'll show you how I cook them, but... That probably won't be posted till like tomorrow. So my water is boiling. I'm gonna put in my broccoli rob and I'm gonna set the timer for literally two minutes. And in the meantime, I actually not 20, come on guys. In the meantime, I'm gonna get a bowl with ice so I could put it in there so I could stop the cooking process. Cause you're gonna cook it again when you do like the garlic and oil. Yeah, this is, so on this, this stove came with my house, right? It's not like, and it's not new. I mean, my house is very lived in, but it's a good stove. And this one burner is called a power boil. I cook everything on it. It's the best. It cooks everything mid quick. All right, let me do my cold water.
All right, so I'm gonna let this sit in here. I'm gonna fry up my sausages. I like to take my sausage out of the casing and fry it up in like crumbles. Um, and then with the fat of that, I'll fry up the garlic. Is Helga supposed to be like a mean thing that I'm just not picking up on? <laughs> I feel like I've been called that before. Is that from Hey Arnold's? Yeah. Okay. Have a great day, babe. I've been on for like 20 minutes. I got one loser here. I'll take it. All right, so I'm just putting this in here. I'm not even making a whole pound. Um, I only have like four sausages out. All right, I'm gonna strain that water because I'm gonna use this pot to fry up my sausages. Actually, I'm gonna just change the water for the pot stuff. I do have soup ready if she gets hungry, babe. Using my nonstick cast iron, my usual. Making orecchetti with broccoli rabe and sausage. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of olive oil in here, um, and I'm gonna take the sausage out of the casing and fry it up in the olive oil while I slice the garlic. Yeah, this is such a quick meal. And I feel like people are always asking me to share it. So I was like, let me hop on live. Just cause I can today. My hubby's working from home at the end of the day. Um, and my kids were out all day. So they're all chilling out, mother effa. They're all chilling now, you know? Cause they've been occupied all day. Hi Brittany, what's up babe? I have not tried that chicken apple sausage. I have had it years ago because that stuff's not, you know, it hasn't been around. I mean, that stuff has been around. Um, I, I personally don't love it. I feel like it tastes like breakfast sausage and I am not a fan of breakfast sausage. But also, I am someone who doesn't even really love sausage. So, can't be asking me. I know, I, I cooked with it two days so far. But my hubby likes it and it's a very easy protein. And I do love broccoli raw, so... <laughs> Hi guys. Yeah, Irene is very sweet. I actually met her on social media, but we became friends outside of social media as well. Um, like I met her in person. And she is just a ray of sunshine. Like I'm not even kidding you. Exactly how she is on the internet is how she is in person. And that's what I love about her. Cause that's, that's not something you come around, you know? I am making orecchetti with broccoli rabe and sausage. I'm just gonna fry up this sausage while I cut our garlic.
I like to use hot sausage for this, but my kids are eating it. Um, so I will just put like a little crushed red pepper on my own plate. My pool is not built in, it's like semi. It's like half in and then half out. It's like half built in, if that makes sense, but that's how it is. And it has um, a deck around half of it which eventually me and my husband would love to build a deck just straight out of my back door. Like just deck all my grass and then just have an area for like my garden beds. You know, you never know. One day. All right, so my sausages are chilling. I'm gonna put some more olive oil because they need it. These sausages are from that Good Chop brand. Just keep my mouth shut about that. Olive oil is like on the sun anyway. Yeah, premium's not bad. I buy that from uh, Costco always has premium. Uh, and then when I'm at like the pork store, I will get the sausage rings. I do like to use that for this too because it's so seasoned. It has cheese in it, parsley. I am making auric taxi with broccoli robin sausage. This is just some garlic that I'm chopping up. I bought myself a garlic press. I still didn't get it. I'm waiting for it. I like to use a lot of garlic. Um, I normally do grate it, but I like the chunky garlic for this. Um, I use the microplane a lot. This is a J.A. Henkel's. I get asked this comment all the time on this knife, and I, I, I really do recommend this knife. I just bought myself one. I don't know where the hell it is. I could just get the sausage nice and crispy before you turn it. Like, just put it and try to put it in, like, a flat layer in the pan, and then just don't touch it. Like, don't move it around. Um, I like to do my garlic, like, a size like this for something like this because I like when it gets nice and toasty like the garlic itself I think I probably got this knife from TJ Maxx it was an expensive knife but cheaper at TJ Maxx um, I buy all my shit like that at TJ Maxx and I shop in this thing all the time I love it Like I've had it for a long time, and it's still, it's still, it's still, it's still my like my favorite one. Like it's still the one I always go to first. I do have a you know a bunch, nothing crazy, nothing like too fancy. I also have the water over here going for the orakashi. Yeah, I could definitely do a video on how I shop on my knives. 100%. I'll do that for you. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm trying to block this. Follow my, you know, watch my nudes, girl. <laughs> this is a wholesome cooking live, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm just breaking it up a little bit. Once this cooks down, another two minutes, I'll add in my garlic. Sometimes I'll take my sausage out and fry it, but it's like a quick throwing everything in today. That's why I have it on like a pretty high heat. Hello, you have a great Wednesday too, babe. Hello from New Jersey.
<laughs> that Shania Twain, that Shania Twain thing was funny. Best breakup advice: Go out, get yourself dressed, and go the hell out. Don't sit home. Honestly, keep yourself distracted. Hello from New Jersey, from New Brunswick. We're in New Brunswick. This is some of the chicken that I used in the stock. I'm going to put some in her bowl for the soup. And I literally just made soup in like, what was that, 20 minutes? Now, unlike Serafina, this one likes cheese. I'm gonna put her on the seat, babe. Like, you see that color? That could be one, at least on one side, you know? Oh, no, no, no. She always wants mommy. Daddy really is second best, though. She, like, gets over it quick. It's either like me or him. There's like really no in between. And she loves my family members and my friends, you know, but we really just are like, you know, 24-7. Okay. My sausage is getting nice and crispy. Look at it. See that? That's what we want. I'm gonna put my garlic right in here. And let my garlic brown up for a few minutes. I just want a new one. You have the same handle as the clock. I feel like they're a little easier to hold those short, those short. What? We need. Two we got rid of the flat. Which one did we get rid of? Oh, we didn't have much of them. No, and those were the old ones. They didn't even. We weren't even a matching set. This is garlic, yes. Because I feel like this meal is like garlic, oil, and sausage. It's like part of the dish, like. Garlic is a component of this dish. It's not just a seasoning. You know what I mean? In my opinion. Garlic gets better when it's brown. Yes. Garlic gets better when it's burnt. Not brown. If garlic gets burnt, yes, it's better. But we're not going to burn it. We're going to make it toasty. There's a difference. I am going to be putting stock in this. I'm also going to be using the water from the chicken stock. I mean the water from the, yeah, from the stock that I made today. 
You ever get like garlic and oil, broccoli at like the Italian restaurant and has the little golden garlic slices? That's what we're looking for. I have my pan on like medium low. Biker shorts are from uh, Walmart. Yeah, this is sausage. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the sweet comments. It smells really good in here. Yeah, I don't have any mods because I feel like every time I, sometimes, okay, the last time I made a mod, I don't even know which one it was either. They were like blocking my family members and like my friends because they said like something silly. Like they weren't allowing people to have, even like strangers, they weren't allowing people to have an opinion. Like I want people to be open to discussing, you know, their side of things with me or their opinion on something I'm cooking. You know, I'm open to, to like opinions. I'm not open to negative, toxic bullshit. I'm open to a healthy debate. We're adults. You know what I mean? All right, so this is the sausage with the garlic. I'm gonna put a little bit of stock in here just to deglaze the bottom, and then I'm gonna throw this uh, broccoli raw in. This is a little bit of the stock that I made. I don't even really see anything bad going on right now, so maybe it's just like the comments are going too fast that I'm not getting it. So you see how the color is changing? All the little like crispy bits from the sausage that we burnt up on the bottom are gonna become part of the sauce, which is delicious. Um, and now I'm gonna put in the broccoli raw, which is basically already cooked. Everything here is like cooked. And let me show you what I mean by like toasty garlic. You see that? You see that color? That's delicious. That's not better. Once there's liquid in the pan, the garlic's not gonna burn. I am making orakatsi with broccoli rob. My water is boiling. I'm gonna go grab my pasta. I also have leftover from last night too, she could ask. Or red sauce. Or red sauce. I have leftover from last night. That was the homemade sauce that I made. Oh, yeah. The pasta. You want the cheese on it, Fina? Okay, did you put a box of orakatsi away? In the closet, uh, the, the closet, the spices. Can you put the air back on for me, Oh no, it's been a little bit busy. Looking for my pasta. Here it is. Let me just throw some pasta, and I'm gonna just do like a half a pound. I like it to be like everything on the spoon, not just pasta, you know what I mean? That's why I do love using the orakatsi because it, it's not too much pasta, you know? Like this, it's the perfect shape for this. These cute little like clamshell pastas. They look like little, my, I think my grandma used to call them hats. Little hats. I'm gonna do like half a box. How long does this take? Okay, let me get my broccoli rob There's just some on here that I still want to cut a little bit. Still some big pieces. She's like watching me work. She does. She just likes being around somebody. She likes to be with people, you know? Yeah. 
All right, this is the Bracket Rob. And now at this point, like I want to cook this just like maybe one more minute just to warm through the broccoli raw, but that's it. It's basically cooked. You could definitely add beans to this and omit pasta for sure. Unless you want it both. That's okay too. But you can add beans to this. My grandmother used to make something like this. This whole, this whole thing. Garlic, oil, broccoli raw, uh, sausage, beans, and she would just put stock and it would be like a soup. You can make this whole mixture and stuff it in bread. There's so many things you could do with it. You could put it on a piece of bread and make a sandwich. Pizza. Eggs. Okay, the pasta's cooking. The soup is done, by the way. I shut that off. Mariella is enjoying it. Does she like it, babe? Okay. So I, she likes the garlic. So I am going to put some lemon juice like on the plate before I serve it. Probably just to me and my husband. Um, but I only steamed this broccoli rob for like two minutes. And honestly, I'm just warming it through right now. I'm going to put some salt and pepper. And that's all you need in this. Because I'm going to be using Locatelli on mine. So. I know, so do you. Serafina is lounging. trying to read the comments guys but it's impossible to keep up with them especially when i'm like trying to get dinner on the table for a weeknight you know what i mean All right, I'm going to take this off the stove. Um, and then when the pasta is done, I'm going to put it in and like sauce it all together. Hold on, guys. I got to go through and block some people. Damn, Shirley. Damn, Shirley. <laughs> oh, my God. Eye surgery. Listen, I will think of you, King Ivan. I promise. Tom is working with one hand and feeding my kid with the other. How did they get back in here? I don't get it because it's like the same picture. Guys, I don't have time for this. Okay. Do I work at Red Door Spa? Definitely not. I do not plan my days out. Um, I just like open my fridge and I'm like, okay, what can I cook today? Thank you. Slimy how. <laughs> I'm like, what can I cook today with what I have using what's the freshest at the time? Like using what, you know, needs to go. Um, I really just wing it. What's up, JJ? What are you doing in here? I know I need mods, but the thing is, is I don't trust anybody. And for me to just be like, here, you can moderate my thing. I, there's some people that I speak to, you know, here and there. Did I get a chance to watch Shazam? Not yet, babe. I definitely will, but I have not had a chance yet. My kids keep me very busy. <laughs> I'm 
I'm definitely gonna watch it. I'm sure I can watch it on demand, can I? I emailed you how long until you respond. I know you're very busy. What'd you email me about? Because I actually have somebody else reading my email. So what did you email me about? Oh, I'm sure I could watch it on demand. Well, the first thing you need to do if you want to be on TikTok is to not be shy. Because uh, you got to really uh, take some hits on here. Let me tell you, you got to take some hits on here. I normally keep feed my kids between 5 and 5.30. Mariella already ate. She had the soup. Uh, Serafina, we were at the aquarium, and then I got them to get, like, a quick bite after. So they're, they're probably not starving, but Fina will let me know when she's hungry. I asked her. She wasn't hungry yet, so I'm not going to force her. If she doesn't eat dinner by a certain time, she'll just have, like, a fruit plate and a yogurt before bed. And that's what you're getting because the kitchen's closed at a certain time. And that's just that. You know, I'm not a short order cook. I feel like I am a short order cook for them only between the hours of this and this, okay? Six o'clock, no, I'm cleaning and I'm done. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I'm just waiting for my pasta to cook. I'm doing great, honestly. I'm just tired because I'm dealing with a teething baby. JJ sending me some of her dressings. I can't wait to try them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys. I'm going to be marinating some meat, making some pasta salads. This is just a little vodka with salsa and some fresh citrus. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, well, shit happens. The stick is on the lemon. Shit happens. You know, back in the day, I probably would curse people out, but I, I don't really have it in me anymore. I feel like there's so many things that I worry about on like a daily basis that the the thought of what people think about me and how I affect their life is really not my problem. That's their problem. I have so many other things I'm worrying about. And that is the least of it. I really got to say. Also, I spent so many years like worrying about what other people were thinking about me. I'm not doing that shit no more either. Just because, like, it doesn't matter. Who, who cares what they think of you? It's not going to change what they think of you. Then I had my kids, and now I'm like, I really got to tone it down. <laughs> I mean, listen, I was never, like, I, I was never mean, you know, but I just say what I want. And I definitely um, don't have a filter sometimes. Fina loved her birthday party, yes. I have not made gumbo before. So I made like, you know, maybe that Zatarain's shit, which I, I love. That shit is mad good. My mother used to buy the, I think it was the, was it the red beans and rice? Dirty rice. She would buy one of them or she would buy the gumbo mix and then she would throw like the meat and stuff. And I know that shit's not, I mean, I know it's not authentic, but I enjoyed that. So I feel like I could definitely recreate that. I do not have a P.O. box anymore. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be like you. I'm 57. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Do we go on date nights? Yeah, we go on date nights like, I'd say probably like every six weeks. We try to go at least once a month, but, you know, it doesn't always work out that way because I have two kids. Um, and me and my husband are like 24-7 with our kids. But we do make time for ourselves. We actually have a really exciting date night coming up. I'm not going to share it yet. But I'm so freaking excited for that one. Oh, my God. Guys, I'm going to go ham. You have no idea. You have no idea. Yeah. How fitting. Guys, I really enjoy gardening too. I feel like that helps me like, it's like my form of therapy. Let's check my pasta. You know, me and my husband go out a lot with our kids. So we just do like family day nights for now. And I'm, I'm cool with that, you know? My husband's usually the one driving, so I can still have a glass of wine. <laughs> Doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> I swear, since being pregnant, my husband's like, 
the designated driver 24 7. I don't mind. And he says he doesn't mind, so I'm just living. I'm gonna strain my pasta and then I'm gonna put it in a little mixture and then make my hubby a plate and I'm gonna hop off. just for a few minutes yeah they're called little drums and they're perfect size for my kids so i put my pasta water back on for a second just to get it going i'm gonna drizzle in some olive oil well this pasta is small so it does cook pretty quick and i am gonna ugh, i'm gonna put in a little bit of grated cheese okay Babe, can you give me a lemon, please? Of course. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. You all want it. You know I don't care, right? Just some fresh lemon. I just like to do it at the end to brighten it up. I don't like to do it too soon in the dish because it will turn your broccoli raw like a oh. yellow color. So I don't do it till right before serving. But this is done. So I'm going to serve up everyone's plates. I will take a bite with you and then I'm going to hop off. Oh, beautiful guys. It's such an easy meal. Do I like TLC shows? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Where is there a TLC show? Oh, you mean like the TV, sh like the channel? I thought they meant like, yeah. I thought you meant like the band TLC, you know? <laughs> wow. But I do love TLC shows also, so I probably, you probably would have got the same hype out of me. If you can't tell, I like old school R&B, if you can't tell. Okay. Let's serve it up. And then there were four, you know, I'm just going to go back. She should be great for her body. This is Fafina. I bought these paper plates for her birthday party and I had so many because I, I guess I can't judge how many people are eating. This is broccoli rabe with sausage and orichetti pasta. Orichetti, I believe, is just the shape. It's called for Right? I you know where I got these plates? The dollar store. Here's some steamer. Here's a slice of steam. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my 
I'm gonna give some to Mariella too, because she's all right in it. She's always right. What do you mean? I'm gonna just give a little scoop to Mariella too, because she's still sitting there anyway. Just give us some vegetable. This is my hobbyist. I want to try so many fruits and veggies next year. I'm going to do a whole video mm -hmm. dedicated to that. My next luncheon chat, I'm going to do that. I actually have a comment saved. Like, what did you grow this year? What would you do different next year? And honestly, I feel like I would grow all the same things because everything is doing really well. But I definitely want to add some stuff. I, I went a little light this year because I took a year off because I was pregnant with Mariella. Um, and I just wanted to get, like, my toes wet, you know? And I am ready. Because this year, it's popping back there. Yeah, uh, there's been a lot of rain, which is definitely and helping me. Sun, yeah, good. some more fresh lemon. Babe, do you want some crushed red chili on it? Yeah. Please. Whatever the chef suggests. I like that on mine. I like to really fry it in the oil, like when I cook the garlic. But you know. It's, it is spicy for my kids. Mm -hmm. For my hubby. Glove, glove. I'll take a little bite with you. Can you shut the TV, please? Yo. What are you doing, babe? Oh, oh, oh. All right, guys, let's take a bite since you spent time with me and ate this and cooked it with me. I wish I could share it with you. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. Locatelli is the only grated cheese. So, yeah, babe. It's no cheese. No, it's just a little. I put cheese on it? No, it's okay. I'm sorry, babe. It's better cheese. I'm going to give you some without. Hold on. Yeah, but she took. She doesn't like cheese. That's my fault. She likes, she likes cheese. She doesn't like it on her pasta. Yeah, I'll take this. Honestly, I normally wouldn't do that, but I know she doesn't like grated cheese on her pasta, and I did that, so that's my fault. Normally, I would say kiss my ass. Okay. For Mariella. <laughs> That is, is that not just the most mom life thing ever? You go to take a bite of your food and somebody needs something? I mean, honestly. Okay. Yeah, it's not her fault. It's my fault. I shouldn't have put the cheese. I know she doesn't like great cheese. Okay. I better get it in. I better get it in. Mmm. So simple, delicious, like five ingredients. So good. Make this, guys. I love you so much. Thanks for hanging with me. You know, maybe I'll get another live this week. Who knows? Who knows? Bye, guys. Love ya.